This is the video solution of the practical part of exam 26. Ok, first of all I have already copied on my desktop file student.sav I do not double click on it because I'm afraid that another version of SPSS opens up Instead I search for SPSS Statistics 20 It's here in IBM SPSS Statistics I open the program directly from the menu and then from inside the program I will open the file that I have on my desktop Ok, let's see here, open, I search for the file on my desktop and if I don't have other 3000 files I find it easily. Ok, it's the usual file that we use in class, let's go through it, build date variable date 1 using day L as day, month L as month and variable submit as year. Until here it's easy, but then in case day L is missing assume 1, in case month L is missing assume October so day L and month L need some recording, I don't use date and time wizard directly ok, I instead record first day L and then month L so from here into different variables I choose day L, I record it into for example day L2 I click on all the new values I set that value system user missing goes to 1 and all other values copy old values add don't forget ok ok and now the L has been recorded I do more or less the same thing for month L but pay attention that when you open it you have the L so you will record it again so click on reset to clear it up Mouth L, Mouth L true. Change all the new values. Now Mouth L is a little different because system and user missing goes to 10 and all other values copy all values. So pay attention to remove the L, otherwise you will record the L as Mouth L. So now I check that I have the L and Mouth L ready. You can see a lot of 1 and 10. And now I can finally build the date uh, with date and time wizard, create date time variable from variable sold in parts. I put the day, not this one, but the other one, ok, here, inside day of month, I put the month inside month, and I put submit inside year. Next, I assign a name to the resulting variable, I must assign a format otherwise I cannot go on, and finish. I check that the date is produced correctly just to see ok, it seems correct, 10 September, a lot of 1st Octobers ok, now build variable not passed with a count of how many of the 6 indicated exam the student has not passed so I need to count values within cases it's here in transform count values within cases ok, so first of all you, assign, you write the target variable not passed Ok, now you choose the variables that you need, are the 6 exams, are here, select them, ok, and now you must define which values are you count, usually you count once, this time since you are interested in the not passed, you count 0, don't forget to click add, now check using an appropriate test whether, variable, whether the average for male and female of variable exams are different or not. ok, it's a t student t test independent samples ok, I choose sex as grouping variable, I must assign the groups 0 and 1, 0 are male and 1 are female and everything is done build an histogram for variable exams using beans of size 10 and green bars so it's rather easy chart uh, sorry, graphs, chart builder remember to, cho to select the histogram and not the bar plot well it will work anyway because it will be converted since you are selecting a scale variable but it's much better to choose the histogram directly then drag past the exams here now go here on set parameters you can do this also later if you want but it's better to do immediately custom interval width 
10 continue apply ok and you will get the histogram once you've got the histogram you should change the color of the bars so double click on the pictures on the picture double click on the bars and get this window here fill and border choose green apply ok done build a linear regression model for exams by birth producing a new variable with regressions and standardized residuals so it's a linear regression very simple analyze regression linear so choose the appropriate variables exams as dependent and birth as independent save ok click unstandardize continue ok you will build the regression and now check whether you have the unstandardized residuals ok this uh, should be the unstandardized residual as you can see there are not the residuals if you have any knowledge of statistics you can you easily know that some are positive some are negative so these are for sure not the standardized residuals let's see why let's check why oh I have committed a mistake I have selected a predicted value instead of residuals so you should select residuals from here now I will create the residuals let's see check always first of all I get rid of the previous regression so the professor doesn't have to correct two regressions I get rid also of the log ok now I check that I have the standardized residuals yes some are positive and some are negative than standardized residuals build a pie chart for variable mates with hay time sector orange with large pluses so as in the pictures again from graph I have to save never forget to save often because SPSS will for sure crash the assign also the name student that is ok for the output you don't need SPV it will work automatically now let's go to graph chart builder so select the pie chart and variable is mates here the pie chart it's here and drag me it's there ok done now we s color this sector double click on the sector no it's not here I have not double clicked on the sector also so I undo I double click on the sector make sure that only the sector is selected now I can make it orange and choose an appropriate pattern the one with the pluses apply ok so now it looks like the picture close file close weight the subject using variable exams so very easy you just go above data weight cases choose exams weight cases by exams now from now on all the cases are weighted by exams pay attention don't do anything else after it display frequencies for variable univ good except the thing I ask obviously okay if you do something else now you will have the weighted activated and everything will be different okay now finally add the appropriate variable structure with missing value and value labels for this question the question is a multiple answer as you can see several answers are possible so clearly you don't need to, to produce only one variable but five variables with yes no each one so let's build it bicycle ok well you don't need the eight digits you just need two digits and no digit after one digit and no digit after the comma it's a yes no so let's go here to values zero it's no add one is yes add and nine is missing as usual add okay okay now I put here also mi indication which is the missing value and here the scale nominal 
ok no you don't need to redo it i just take it cop con copy and paste it other four times without any effort i just now change the name and everything will be okay so train car bus and plane ok the variable has been done don't forget to save up everything everything seems correct so I save the data and also the output now you can close everything don't worry in case SPSS ask everything something locate the two files this one is one and this one is the other one if you don't have a mess on your desktop you locate them easily and